Yemi Alade will be rest in peace. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sawa. And to all of you that keep coming back, hello and welcome back. Quick reminder, if you've never subscribed, just to remind you to click that red button there that says subscribe. And after that, click the bell sign. That way you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. So before I say anything else in this video, I am going to quickly apologize to a lot of my subscribers, a lot of my viewers. For the video, the video I made about Yemi Alade, <clears throat> The, for the video I made about Yemi Alade, because um, some of you reached out to me like, Oh, Summer, you made it in Pigeon English. We, do, we could, made it in Pigeon English. We didn't understand what you were saying. We missed out on the video. And then you, like the people, that, like when they were reading the comments and you, you were reading the comments and you saw so many post reaction and you found it interesting, whatever was going on, but you felt like you were left out. I kind of felt bad. I really did feel bad when I got this um, when I got this feedback. Honestly, the reason I did it in Pigeon was because I felt like it was a domestic issue. <laughs> I don't know for lack of for the lack of a better word, I felt like it was like a, a domestic issue, and I thought maybe I should deal with it domestically, you know. So and and they just thought I know that, to be honest, that was why I did it in Pigeon. I just felt like you know what this is a Nigerian thing. Let me just deal with it that way. Issue Nigerian thing, Nigerian issue, and I had advice and everything that i was sharing with nigerians that i just felt like it was kind of like more of just something for the nigerians because like non-nigerians you know especially the Bini people and i felt like you know it was just a message for this group of people so but like when people reached out to me i kind of felt bad i kind of felt bad because like you nope know, some people really, especially because of the comments some people really wanted to know what was going on and uh, i'll just say i just quickly apologize to that in this video then i'm just going to kind of like say what happened you know but whatever advice i gave them in that other video i don't need to repeat them here because it was actually specifically for a group of people so in this video then i'm going to i'm just going to quickly just tell you exactly what was going on uh what is going on there is a singer in nigeria called yemi alade uh yemi alade did a music video and and I actually never really listened to the song. The other day I played it to actually hear what she was saying. And she was saying something about, if I'm not mistaken, she was saying something about being Oga. As in, in Nigeria, if you say somebody is Oga, you know, typically Oga is a... Um, Oga, Oga actually means master. It's pidgin English. So when you say Oga, you know, Oga is master. So, and then in this video, she said, she said something about being Oga, if I'm not mistaken. If that's... I watched this video, I can't remember, I think she was saying Oga, as in she was, she's Oga. She was basically saying she's a master, right? Like a boss. She then dressed like different kind of Nigerian kings, okay? So she then dressed like a particular king in a particular tribe. You know, we have so many tribes in Nigeria. So she dressed in that particular tribe. Um, no, okay, so the king of a particular tribe, she dressed like that king. And that is like a tribe, they are called the Bini people and the king is called an, is called an Oba. So she dressed like this Oba, you know, the Oba of Benin. And typically, you know, it's like a completely bead, like beads, or basically beads from head to toes, right? So a lot of the people from that tribe were offended. It's against their culture and their tradition for um a woman or even anybody at all to dress like their oba which is the king and they were offended because she dressed like the oba in the video they felt like it was wrong and all of this and so there were a lot of a lot of people were giving out on social media that they shouldn't have done that disrespectful to their culture and everything so basically that was what that that was that's what is going on so i just basically made that video and i just kind of was giving them advice that was what happened in that video and i wouldn't bother i wouldn't bother repeating the advice here because it's kind of like tailor made advice so kind of like specifically for this um tribe people so in this video i just wanted to kind of like you know address few more things about the video uh about the issue so people have not given up on this thing and the thing again is like the oba has not complained that's the thing the oba has not complained and as far as i know the oba has like um official like or how do you say like um they have like an office, if that makes sense. When I say an office, like people that handle their um, public relations and how was the word now? Like public relations and stuff like that. And, you know, you know, nothing officially, nothing has come from the palace. Nothing. No complaints, no threats, zero. Absolutely nothing. Meanwhile, Yemi Alade is not sorry about it. She's not. And I don't think she's going to be sorry because, you see, if the Oba had come out and said, I am offended, I believe she'll be on her knees and apologize. I believe so. 
but because because the palace has not complained nothing at all official not a single chief no chief nobody has said a single thing about this whole thing it's just people on social media that are giving out and complaining and lashing out and all of these things going on and then meanwhile like i said she has not apologized and she's not convinced from what i have seen i'm reading you guys her post on instagram from what i have seen she doesn't feel like she's done anything wrong and then by the way uh, Yami Alade made the post on Instagram and this is what she had to say. She shared the picture that is causing all this controversy and then under the picture then she wrote uh, Beaded from head to toe. This royal attire made for the king of Benin has my heart. Benin is, Benin is one of the greatest African kingdoms. Bronze artifacts can be found worldwide representing Nigeria. Proudly made in Nigeria. She, she's not she's not sorry well from that post she's obviously not sorry and the thing again is why will you be sorry if you do not think you've done anything wrong she that post does not sound like someone that's sorry mm -mm. and it, like i said like i'm trying to say why would she she would she, i do not believe she would be she, i do not believe she feels sorry because i do not believe she thinks that she's done anything wrong okay you no know, something else i want to say about this whole thing is this you know I have been thinking a lot more about this thing. And I was just thinking because somebody left a comment and said something like, um, "If if the Obas clothes, if the Obas, um, if the, if nobody can ever dress like the Oba in any way at all, and don't forget that you know, don't forget that she didn't go to the Obas palace and take one of his clothes. This is just something that they just made up. They made up, and I was even looking at it. it doesn't even look like proper beads." It doesn't look like proper beads it look a bit different i don't know it may not be real beads like even when you look at the hat she's wearing it doesn't look like the real deal i don't know if it's real bead but whatever it is you know they didn't go to, it's not like they went to the other palace and took one they made it up so there was a comment that actually got me you know there was a comment that i read and i thought to myself maybe i should share it it may help people to reason a bit a bit differently if somebody was to act um if there was to be a movie and you know, for those that said nobody should ever dress like the Oba, nobody should ever dress like the Oba at all. You know, the question is, if there was ever a movie and somebody in the movie wants to be the Oba in the movie, how are they going to dress? This is, this is a sincere question. How are they going to dress? like people have acted movies and they dress like the pope you know and they dress like a lot of things in drama and movies or whatever i don't know if you guys get what, where i'm coming from you know so if somebody can dress like Oba in a movie, why then is it? I'm only asking a question. The comment section is free to leave your own, leave whatever your answers are. It's a question a lot of people have on their minds. You know, if anybody can act a movie and I know act a movie and dress like the Oba, what is the problem then? Because like I said, she didn't go there and take one of his clothes. Something that I want to say is this: if if by any chance, let's say the Oba's clothes were washed and spread outside, whatever. And then somebody took it and took it all the way to Lagos and gave it to Yami Alade to put it on. Ha ha! Then we will know that there is war. You get my point? We will say, ah, yeah, there is war. Why? Because this is the other's personal clothes. I believe that if that's what happened, it would be a different story altogether. If that was what happened. But it's just, I feel like... Because it's just a costume. I feel like it does not have the same weight as in it does not have the same value as the Oba's clothes It's not one of Oba's clothes. It's just something made somewhere. I do not think it has any value That's how I look at it. I don't think it has any value at all as in value when it comes to the royalty of the Oba Because it's just a costume just made. This is how I feel about it And this is how some people feel about it I would appreciate if people can actually answer that question that if a movie is to be acted about the Oba in the future Will somebody not dress like the Oba in the movie?
you get my point i would like to i would i would appreciate if any of you that are beneath that really know all these cultures if you can answer it for us in the comment section and there's something else that shocks me you know somebody then there somebody then made the video on youtube from somebody from an edo man made a video and saying that um, he said that yami alade has been sentenced to death i'll let you guys listen to this yami alade we be rest in peace. Hear me, Alado. I will not even have time to waste on your matter. This is a video I have sent to you. And mark my word. Every day you sleep, be having it in mind. That is your last day in your life. I prophesy to you today. Death is not far away from you. What hear me, Alade did is unpardonable crime. And she must face the consequences. Every action has reaction. Yeah, me Alade should be prepared, should prepare for a spiritual attack, diabolically attack, biblically attack, a Yoruba attack, Igbo attack. Every attack will come on her. Yeah, me Alade should wait. Oh. Nobody mess with the Beniki now go free. You should be prepared. Call this video and send it to her. Prepare for your sordid downfall. You have chosen to be a stubborn enemy to a do state, to a do land, to be the empire, to the ancestors. And our ancestors will locate you, Yemi Aladdin. They will locate you in the day and they will locate you in the night and they will locate you when you are taking a shower. From today, I said the mega company, the tiger and the lion combat are pronounced failure in your life. Assert the role of your kingdom, your ego or your king will go to Benin City and do the sacrifice. You will go there and drink water. That is the only way out. When I saw that video, I seriously, I didn't know what to say. I still do not know what to say. I, I don't know. I seriously do not know what to say. You sent in, like sentencing her to death for dressing in a costume. Like I said, it's not even the real one. It's just a costume. But I'm wondering, has it got to that point? I don't know. I seriously, I seriously do not know. Um. Anyways, I just wanted to make, I just want to make this video for those of my subscribers that were like, oh, somehow you left us out of that video. We just didn't know what you were talking about. I just wanted to come here and quickly make a video just to give you guys a clue of what I was talking about and what that video was about. And once more, I'm going to say I'm really sorry for that. Like I said, I was just trying to keep it domestic. I was trying to keep it domestic. You know. Um. I just hope you guys will understand. Uh. Thank you all for reaching out to me about that. Um. And with that, I'm just going to say thank you for watching. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.